All right, here we go, guys. And we're at the 2022 Miami Boat Show. And it, it's we this time. I have my good friend John Sweeney with me. Uh, he's a winter bird or snowbird. He lives down on Marco Island. He made the drive across the state, met me at the show opening day. And we're going to look at 25 foot center consoles. Now, I know we did that in Stewart. So I intentionally only reviewed 25 footers that I didn't review at the Stewart show. So we're going to look at offerings from Blackfin, from Dusky, and from Contender. And normally after we review them, I come back and tell you my thoughts, but I'm gonna do that here. Um, number one, it, uh, price. Uh, these boats range from 123,000 for the Dusky to 192,000 for the Blackfin with the Contender slightly cheaper at 185,000. And if I were picking, if it was me and it was my money, I would definitely go with the Contender just for the fishability, the fit and finish, uh, and the, the capacity on the gas, insane capacity, 178 gallons. Um, if, if I were looking for a family-oriented boat, it would be absolutely 100% the Blackfin, beautiful boat. And if I was on a budget and really wanted a pure fishing boat, it would be dusky all the way. Some concerns on the council and some concerns on the fuel capacity, which we didn't talk about in the video, but I noticed it afterwards when I was looking up their specs. But other than that, three great boats. I, I you know, the, the euphemism, I wouldn't kick her out of bed. I wouldn't kick any of these boats out of bed. Um, apologies in advance for the, the lighting. We are indoors here. I, I kind of missed, last time I was in the at the Miami Boat Show was in 2020. It was, it was held on Virginia Key outdoors. Um, besides the lighting, it truly to me felt more like a Florida atmosphere. This indoor show, um, and, and there's multiple shows for those of you that don't know, but the majority of the boats that, that I like are indoors at the convention center. To me, this show felt very much like the New York show at Javits, um, just kind of dark and dreary. Um, and it, I don't mean that in a negative way, but it, it's clearly there's a different atmosphere when you're indoors as opposed to outdoors in the 80 degree sunny Florida weather. Just my opinion. Hope you enjoy this video again. Let me know which boat you'd pick and why. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. All right, Contender 25T Twin 200 Yamahas. This is, again, a pure fishing boat. No price on this. 25.386 beam, 400 horses the max, so that's what we got. Big live well here in the center. Uh, no wasted fishing space on this boat. Relatively low gunnels. This is like my CV, the gunnel size. And look, We've seen bigger boats with less rod holders. One, two, three, four, five, six across, two kingfish holders, that's eight. Four more down here with two cup holders. And this is a fishing boat. More rod holders than cup holders. And you can put a cooler under there. Just a very simple, functional fishing boat. Uh, two pill boxes down here. Big, look how much room. You could put two 20-inch you know, screens on this. I don't this know. This is enormous. What I, don't you I think like? It, no, no, I think it looks enormous. Once you put a screen in there, I think it's a lot less. I don't think you're putting two 20s in here. No, two 16s. I think it just looks like it. Two 16s easily. Yeah. 16s? It's about there, dude. It All right. Close. No, it, it may or may not. Does this flip off? No. No. It, there's nothing under it. Oh, okay. There's nothing there. Oh, there is something there. I apologize. Yes. Maybe it's just... Uh, it does flip up because there's a... Yeah, but it looks like it's latched. Somewhere, yeah. It has to flip up. That... Well, yeah, because there is a top there. I didn't see it. Two cup holders up here. Box here. Yep, another uh, fish box or storage box up here. Big fish box up there. Cooler up here. Drains out to the deck, huh? Oh, yes, that's... Yeah. That's deep. It stops right there. It's deep right to the V of the boat. See it? Yep, yep. It's um, it's not a friction hinge it's at all. It's not a friction hinge. Okay, can you close it so... Fire. You don't want to watch somebody fall in and you make oh. good, you get more yeah, The more only one falling in is you. You'll get more viewers. <laughs> I want to see the uh, head compartment. You're going to open this? This is enormous, I know that. Do you fit in here? Oh, but you know what? This is finished nice. Yeah, it's finished nice. Straight it's up and down. down. Yeah, and it's got... Uh... So that's behind the console. Your yep. batteries, your electronics you put in there. Yeah, battery switches are here. All your backbone. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yep. 
And a, a real head in there too. Mm. Well, Cindy, you're gonna open this box? Sure. Oh, this wow. one. That's Do me a favor, jump in there. Come on, jump in there. Jump in there. Alright. Oh shit, I thought there was water in it, I swear. No. It's that shiny. It's all finished. It's a fully grown man. Hey, close it, and then when somebody comes, I'll pop out and scare the shit out of them. You oh, put hey, easily in there. Dude, I can sleep in here at night. I'm not kidding you. It's perfect. Wow. Perfect. That's a deep box. You can fit in it. I know I could fit in yeah, it. Yeah. Absolutely you can fit in there. So. Alright. The problem with the big boxes, though, is so much hot. You know, you need just to get a, a two-inch layer of right, ice. Right, right, right. But they forever. Have the, but look, they have the oh, yeah, no, they have the kill boxes in the back for that. I'm, I'm not downing the boat for no. that. Somebody, somebody filling that is going for tuna, swordfish. I would like to see slats on the side so you could shorten the cooler area if you wanted to. Understood. Understood. So no price on this. My guess is two hundred plus. I thought there was a price. There wasn't a price. I, I did not see a price. Oh, right No, never mind. No, I saw that. That's okay. just the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. I tell you what, 180, 178 gallons, that you'll get a lot of range mm -hmm. with uh, these four cylinder 200s. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's uh, 24 and a half degrees of dead rise. Contender 25T. We'll see if we can find their MSRP on online. Um, interesting that they don't list it. Oh, and I was right on the dead rise, 24 and a half. Wait, show that again, Sweeney? What's, so we're about to walk what, away and Sweeney this? said, what's this? And it looks like it's a little boarding ladder that stows into the boat. That's actually really cool. Look at this. Yeah, and it has the, the, the pegs that flip out, right? Yeah, look at that. And then down here too. Yeah. And you'd never notice that if you... Nice. Yeah. Hey, maybe it's... Maybe it's free. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's another 25 here. This is the black fin. 192 at the show. Base is 143. Twin 50s, twin 200 marks. I took my shoes off. It's a nice boat. It's step on. And there's your boarding ladder under that compartment. Four rod holders back here. The twin mark 200s. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Do you mind if I just do a quick video walk around? I like this. The little integrated. Uh, we were here again. The four rod holders here. This is probably a live well, I presume. Yep, big live well. Thirty-ish gallons. This live well. Sorry. Thirty-ish gallons. Yep. Cutting board areas. Hooks. Tackle storage. Two cup holders. Four rod holders. Four rod holders on top. Kill box here. Kill jacks is here. Another kill box there. The price comes with the uh, Garmin. Yes. So there's uh, one Garmin screen included. Flip up poster seating. Electronics box there. Some nice LED lighting under the hardtop. Nice solid hardtop too. Uh, this is electronically controlled backrest. You hit one of the switches, it brings the backrest back. Storage under here, big anchor locker over there. Some holders. Yeah. And there's a forward seating here. I lift my forward seating. Forward entry to the head compartment. You can see it's uh, gel coated in here. Nice head, nice little step there too to get in. Very nice. Very, very nice. So we're at Dusky, and I'm going to include this boat in the 25-foot overview. And you're saying, hey, John, it's a 278. This is not a 25. But it really is. Dusky has this Dusky Drive, they call it. It's an integrated swim platform. 
and it's actually part of the overall, overall length of the boat. So it adds two feet. If this was a Euro transom or a regular transom boat with like an Armstrong bracket here, a regular bracketed boat, I mean, uh, twin 200 Mercs, uh, this would be a 25. So it's technically a, no shoes, let's take our shoes off. It's technically a, a, a 278, but really it's a 25. Um, and I think the price was 123. And this is laid out for tournament fishing. So you have this, uh, the seat here that's on these foldable uh, legs there. I'm not a fan of these personally. I, I like it when the seat flips up. But hey, it gets you rear seating. Big live well here. Really big. Really big. Interestingly, not finished, but it is on a tension hinge. It's nice. No rod fillers here. You can add those. One, two, three, four on top. Canvas, art, uh, canvas top which is okay with me, it's lighter. Very basic seat here. Doesn't look like it opens, doesn't. Um, be nice if this opened, give you some storage, single sim rat on it. You're very, so I'm six feet tall. This is my vantage right now. I am on my tippy toes and I can't see over this console. Very interesting design. I would add some kind of uh, foam padding under my feet here just to get me up a little higher. I'd imagine if Sweeney was on it, he'd, he'd be staring at the, uh, <laughs> at the VHF the whole time. Um, but I love this. Three-piece hull. All right, this is a cap, not a two-piece hull like most of the other 25s we've seen. And just an infinite amount of room up here. Come all the way up to the anchor locker. Some sodas in there. Big coffin box here, I like this. Big coffin box, frigid rigid. Yeah. And you know, Sweeney was mentioning earlier on one of the other boats how he likes it when they have these dividers. So you can keep waters on one side, fish in the other. I'd put the fish in the corner here. The boat naturally leans back just to keep the, the fish guts and the, all the ice associated with the fish near the back of the boat. But this is a, a good, you know, use of space here with these dividers. And you can see down the, the side of the boat, just a huge amount of room. I believe this was 123, which, gotta be honest with you, it's a really good price for what you get. Um, I, I would probably wanna add some bolsters, just as you're fishing and your knees are, and your thighs are going in here. They're not banging that much. Uh, again, very rudimentary, bare bones, but it gets the job done. I'm interested, I haven't opened the door yet, I'm interested to see how it's finished. I'm gonna guess it's finished a little rough, maybe I'm wrong, but let's see. Yeah, so it's not finished that rough, but here's the difference between paying 180 and 123. This is, is scratchy, it's not gel coated, it's just very bare. Same thing down there, uh, there's no gel coat, and you can see there's nothing wrong with the wiring, but it is exposed. They don't have a door here. They don't have a curtain. Again, not a big deal if all you care about is getting out and fishing. But this is why some boats cost X and other boats cost Y. I would, uh, my only gripe so far with this boat is just a really bad vantage point. I have the camera right at eye level. Um, and it's almost impossible to see over the bow. Um, I'm on my tippy toes now, and I can finally see over the bow a little. I would like this, uh, something here, even a step up here, so you, you have a better vantage point when you're, when you're operating the, the vessel, but that, that's my only complaint. Sweeney, just come up here for one second. Now, Sweeney, as he said, is uh, around 5'5". Five five. I don't know how I got up. Oh, right here. Yeah, I was gonna do that. I just want you to do one thing. Yeah. Go to the steering wheel and s look, tell me what your first observation is. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> what is it doing up here? <laughs> I can't see over. Yeah, yeah. yeah There's no it. chance you're seeing over, right? What they, what would be nice? I, I is said if just they had a step. A step I said know? if they. Yeah. This is the one time I wouldn't mind a step up because I'm six feet tall and yeah, I can't see yeah, over this. Yeah. And you know, I was thinking of that even on my boat. But look it, how awesome this layout is. Steps, I think, should be like a standard, a platform, only because you could make them, because it's a great size console, similar to mine, gives you so much storage. 
you bring up the step, you make bigger consoles. Right, right, right. right. You know, yeah, I agree. This is all free space. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You utilize it. I agree. I just and wanted if you to do a platform. You could actually. I just wanted open. you to see that because yeah, no, I can't I, see overboard. I, I saw, yeah, check out that. Well, yeah. I'm going to turn the camera off, but check out the frigid rigid. It's a little bare bones in there. A lot bare bones. Check out the frigid rigid though, how cool that is. It has the divider idea you were talking about. Uh-huh. So this mm -hmm. fish up here, yeah. Drinks, yeah. food, yeah. you could split this out anyway, dry yeah. storage maybe yeah. instead. Yeah, this nice. Yeah. Alright. Hey, good job, Dusky. Other than the council not being able to see over, otherwise, really good job.